We are back, baby. Welcome back, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is for you. Welcome on back to the scrimmage and welcome to another Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands scrimmage. Let's continue our adventures in the capital wasteland, shall we? Let's go. Okay, I saved in Megaton. It's nighttime. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we got this sweet scoped magnum. We got this sweet scoped magnum. Look at that beauty. Stole it off a fellow citizen. <laughs> the drive did not end up being as bad as I was thinking it would be. That's good, Daddy. That's good. Yeah, my condolences to you guys. A traveler, eh? I'm sure. I'm sure your guinea pig lived a fantastic life because you and all Terrace are fantastic people, and I'm. I, I know. I know you showed them lots and lots of love. They were very lucky to have owners and caring people like you. Okay, weight is getting a little. A little heavy. Do I have any? Okay, no armor to sell, but I can sell some of these, some of these items. I don't like. I don't think I'm gonna be using the, the lead pipe. Tbh, tbh. Okay, that's the quest below at Megaton. Um, up the garage. Ah, I know what I want to do. Um, let me. What time is it in game right now? It's 5.51. Okay, so it's almost daytime. So let's wait. Let's wait a couple of... few hours. What's happening? Oh, jeez. Je Don't sneak up on me like that. Handlebar mustache. Look at ass. Wait for a crater supply to open. You open now? Thank you. Talk to Moira and let's do some of her quests, and then I think we will blow up Megaton after that. Sup, bitch. What up, bitch? Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do what is the? mostly tinkering and research. Say... I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have a <laughs> by a vault dweller. <laughs> Help me out, would you? <sighs> Ali, welcome back to the stream. Cheers, happy Thursday. I hope you had a fantastic day. Welcome back. <laughs> sure, I've got plenty to say about life in the vault. Great. <gasps> Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time, or <laughs> whatever strikes your fancy. I rarely drink Coke nowadays. I, I will, like, on occasion, but yeah, man. Nowhere near the amount that I did growing up as a kid. There we go. The beginnings of inventory management. The stream. Strap in, ladies and gents. <laughs> Hi, how's the game going? It's going good, Allie. It's going good. We literally just started, so you're right on time. I was sent as an ambassador from the Utopia Vault 101. Bow before my glory. <laughs> oh, certainly, your majesty. Then consider this armored vault suit to be Megaton's gift to your mighty empire. However, you may consider going incognito. People around here don't Walk always up. take kindly to monarchy, you know. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you. Welcome back, and Paula. It'll be fun. A chance. Happy Thursday. I hope you had a great day. Ding. And thank you, Allie. I don't like her tone. Kill her. Oh, no, no, no. Moira's cool. Moira's cool. She just gave us a free armored vault set. Or, uh, 
Armored Vault Suit. RWG, welcome back, you legend shears. You're just stepping on in. Welcome on back. We're just getting started. We're just getting started. SM, glad you're still playing this game. The nostalgia randomly scrolling through YouTube and finding this crazy awesome guy. And been a fan ever since. Much love, Paula. Thanks for your continued support. I appreciate you. How was your Thursday, Paula? RWG, uh, you out? You still at work? Work right now? Or you got the day off? That is true, Mr. Badger. That is true. But I like to get as much experience and potentially perks as I can before I blow this whole town to smithereens. We are role-playing as an evil character, but I still want the freedom to make choices that will potentially earn me loot and experience. <laughs> Pay? What sort of pay? And what sort of work? Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? As long as you give me money. Sounds good. Tell me more. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Oh, Pepe hands. I don't like the way she's looking at you. I agree you should kill her. <laughs> you just got home from work. Welcome home, man. You loot whore! Hells yeah, dude. This is news to nobody. <laughs> Enjoy the luck, Paula. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, tell me more about the pay. Oh, uh, caps, chems, meds, and maybe even a few unique inventions. If you do a good job. I'm sure I've got something that'll catch your eye. With a little ingenuity, you can turn a pile of junk into a mountain of caps. And there's no shortage of junk, so will you help out? I. Okay, I guess I'll help with this survival guide. All right then. Now I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Okay, so on when we were when we were heading over to minefield, that's where that's nearby there or along that kind of along that route is where we find dog meat, our dog companion. So let's do the landmine one first. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place. Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Man, not to, not off till Saturday. 26 days without a day off. Fuck, uh, RWG. I'm sorry, man. That sounds rough. Oof. I made a Twitch account to follow this guy. Uh, well, really because Alteris would not type what I wanted to say, so I made an account to make comments. Lol. <laughs> I still remember that, Daddy. I was playing Seven Days to Die. I still remember that stream. And I absolutely just keep kept on butchering your name. <laughs> Thanks for making an account, Daddy. Please kill her. We're gonna blow up Megaton eventually, so she'll be she'll be perished in time. I'll head into minefield. Wish me luck. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. Hey, what the fuck? I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to... She wasn't talking about you, ghost. Oh! What do you know about the android from the Commonwealth? Have you heard the so-called android recording? It sounds like an ordinary man. 
Here's a spare copy of that old holotape. It's a hoax for sure. I don't know. Tell me more about this holotape about the android. I guess they sent those tapes to lots of people. Especially people like me who are interested in technology. Boy, I wish androids were real though. Yeah, I think they are. They're called synths. Okay. Let's go. Try not to die. Will do, Moira. I will try. Okay. So, this is the armor that she gave us. The Armored Vault 101. Shit. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> god damn it, dude. I gotta load back. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I didn't mean to throw a grenade. Shit. <laughs> you saw nothing. No, no, miss the same Kate Derps, okay? No. I did that totally on purpose. <laughs> Son of a bitch, dude. I blame you for my Twitch addiction. <laughs> now you are part of the community. <laughs> Mind wipe. <laughs> See, you saw nothing, Jungle Chili. I'm one of the best gamers here on Twitch.tv. Uh-huh. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Jungle. Happy Thursday. Okay, that no, it's we're doing this for the first time, okay? Just mind wiped. We just just play along with it. <laughs> Thanks for the photo, Frozen. <laughs> Welcome back to the street. <laughs> like Men in Black, dude. <laughs> hey, I hear. An earnest disciple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hurry up and get past all this damn dialogue again. Get the armor. That'll be good for the book. In fact, Thanks for the follow, Jungle Chili. Research? Appreciate that, man. I can pay you. Welcome on into the community. Enjoy those follower emotes and enjoy the streamage. Thanks for checking out the channel. For reporting in. How you doing, Frozen? Cheers to you too, man. Okay. Go to the landmines. Yep, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll head in. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Don't oh. try anything. I almost, Jesus, I almost shot my magnum in her face. I <laughs> just kept on clicking. <laughs> Damn. All right. Lego, Lego. Let's go get dog meat. Let's go get, let's go get our daggy companion. You know, dag meat. Even the game wants her dead. Ooh, it's a cute emote. It's like a pepper. Is that your emote, Jungle? I just came back after breakfast, and the first thing I is I didn't mean to throw that grenade. What did you do, Sam? No, no, nothing happened. No, nothing. I never, I never make clumsy mistakes that people clip and add to the uh, library of evidence. Only great MLG gaming moments, Chad. Okay. Nice. I like it. It's cute. So, you have your own emotes, meaning you stream. What kind of games do you play, Jungle? I'm uh, I'm playing Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands, which uh, which brings Fallout 3 and the DLC into New Vegas, and it's a heavily modded playthrough. If you want more info on the mod, potentially check it out for yourself. Type in exclamation point TTW in the chat, and that'll give you a link to uh, download the mod, as well as a step-by-step -step instruction guide, which I followed Ooh, you suck. to get it all ready. Comment, please. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I, I should. See, comment. That's how often you do it. Immediately thought it was you. Ooh, booing me, Frozen? 
How are you doing, Salmon Chat? I'm doing good until you started, like, being very rude. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're doing good, though, man. Back to back to back streams, dude. Paku? No way. I know, dude. I know. You were just testing a theory. Doing that is bad. Now other people know not to do that in the future. Yeah, I was just... For science. Thanks, Daddy. Appreciate it. Totally. All day. That was... That was on purpose. That was on purpose. Okay, I'm gonna store a couple of these weapons that we're not gonna be using. Uh, throw that as, as a backup. The Magnum. I'm only gonna carry... Combat knife. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna carry the combat knife that does the most damage. We're not melee focused, but in the event that we need to use it. Um, combat shotgun. Yeah, let's take that too, just in case. And then I'll, uh, store the other ammo. Uh, combat... 12 gauge, okay. Doing the Fallout run as well, but usually horror game. Oh, dude, you're playing Fallout 2? Nice. Uh, which one? Are you playing 3? New Vegas? Or Fallout 2? Ooh, horror games. Gotcha, gotcha. I do not like playing horror games, but my community likes seeing me play horror games because I don't like playing horror games. Meaning I'm on constantly on the verge of shit my goddamn pants. <laughs> Liquid nitrogen, that's in the explosives box, yeah. Oh, but dude, hell yeah, man. Fallout's great. My first one was Fallout 4. And then I went backwards and did New Vegas, a little bit of 3. This is like my return to actually give 3 like a like, like an actual college try. Um, have, have yet to play the classic Fallout games, like 1 and 2. Uh, but I do have those in my Steam library. Uh, do I not have any more 8-gauge? Might be in another... Uh, no, that's a 20 gauge. So I only have... Actually, wait, wait, wait. I thought it... 12 gauge. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, I do have some derp. Never mind. Okay, so then I'm gonna take, like... I'll take, like, half. Take, like, 13. That should be more than enough. Puppy! You ever beat Octopath, Sam? Nah. <laughs> no, that's that's still on that's still on my list as well. I have over a hundred hours in that sucker and not even close to beating the stories. <laughs> How about you, Frozen? Did you complete? Did you complete uh, all the all all the traveler stories? Oh, uh, on New Vegas. Nice, dude. Fuck yeah. Same. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Hells yeah, dude. Righteous. Dude, New Vegas is so good. New Vegas is so good. I feel like Fallout 3, so far, comparative, comparatively to New Vegas, I feel like New Vegas gets you into like the action quicker. And Fallout 3 is a little bit more slow pace. Which is not a bad thing. I... I... I've come to appreciate the differences between the two. Right? Stuff that I've, you know, picked up on. But yeah. Both great games, and, uh, yeah. I would honestly love to see Obsidian get another chance at being able to make another Fallout game, considering <laughs> Starfield is the next Bethesda game, and then after that is Elder Scrolls Six. Meaning, if no other developer um, can work on Fallout, dude, we're not gonna see Fallout 5 for at least a, a decade, minimum, I feel. Oh, oops, I put these in the wrong area. I meant to put these in the, uh, the medicine chest. Hold on. I do want to play, I do want to play Starfield, but, um, not on release. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off. Not for any other reason besides I don't want to play multiple Bethesda games at the same time. I hope it's good though, man. I really hope it's good. 
Yeah, let's put the Nuka Colas in our Nuka Cola fridge. This should just be for food. Food and food ingredients. Uh, eh, three purified waters. That's good. Put the nudes in there. Put those nice spicy nudes. And then, um, first aid box. I know, I know, you can't look away. The inventory simulator has got you glued to the screen. Oh, my god. Is he gonna put items in another chest next? Oh, I can't wait. The anticipation. I know, I know. Next level gaming. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay. <laughs> Have any miscellaneous items? Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I know. I, I said I was going to do this off stream, but like I, I fucking edited the VOD as well as the, uh, just the Let's Play. Uploaded it to YouTube, brushed my teeth, and fucking jumped right into bed. I did not get to do any of this off stream. I will make this quick. Yeah, all parts. Everything's going in here. Uh, I'll put junk too, because we're going out, so I will sell that later. Okay, 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 chat, I think, I think we are good. I'm gonna wear this Armored Vault 101. Put the Tunnel Snakes away, and we are ready to rock, baby. Thank you for the patience, thank you- <gasps> There was a there was an earthquake. Like I said, one of the best gamers here on Twitch.tv. Pull out your notepad and take notes and do the opposite of whatever you see on screen. God damn it! I threw another grenade. Shit. <laughs> and to do that, totally. Loves, uh, loves horror games. I mean, uh, horror. <laughs> Whoa, who's, who's spreading those cheeks? Who's spreading their cheeks? At least safe, say, at least say safety. I'm only five hours in it at the moment. Just got through the one hour think tank conversation. Spicy nudes. A little bit spicy. 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 The one hour think tank conversation. I'm trying to remember that in New Vegas. Oh man, well you're in you're in for a good time, dude. You are in for a good time. I have like a hundred and something hours in New Vegas, never got to the strip because I kept on restarting. Lol. <laughs> Rod machete, low tribal raiding armor. Oh, it's got good value. Still play PT every now and then. Oh, do you use Andia? Damn. That PlayStation's got gold on there. Can't even download that game anymore. Well, just got some free vodka. They messed up my order and I was refunded the whole thing. Hey, let's go. Inventory Simulator 2023 Special Edition. Pago? <laughs> Good to see you too, RWG. Thanks for tuning in, you legend. You legend. Okay, so we went over this way to go get dog meat. Oh! Please stop. Stop! You violated the law! Dead. <laughs> oh my god, Sam. <laughs> oh, but yeah, dude. Jungle Chili, thanks for checking out the channel, man. It means a lot. <laughs> Get fucked. Fallout has a very, very special place in my heart. Such, such good games. Game that taught me to be a loot whore. Well, maybe not exactly, but... <laughs> It's definitely the game that encouraged me to be a loot whore. I'm 
Oh. <laughs> Glad I decided to slow down. I was like, I probably would have sprained my ankles if I just jumped off that. <laughs> oh. Why? Made me have to come out of lurk just to tell you to stop being a derp. <laughs> Thanks, Alteris. <laughs> Come out of your lurk. <laughs> nah, much love, Alteris. Have a good rest of your night, dude. Happy I decided to play Project Zomboid, and happy that you found my channel through that directory, dude. You and Daddy are good peeps. Lol. Lol. I like dogs, chat, but when they're trying to bite my penis, I... no. No. I like protecting my boys. Oh, and yo, dude, Mr. Badger, thanks for sending that... Uh, thanks for posting that song in the Discord, man. That rap song. Shit was pretty good, dude. I was fucking vibing in my car, dude. I was like, oh! 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 Shit was fire, son. Mind wipe times two. <laughs> uh huh? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> I should just have that sound effect, like the, the sound effect of that fucking item from uh, Men in Black. That wipe that wipes people's memories. Any loot in these boxes? Oh wow, dude, you baited. <gasps> Mine box. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, some more fraggies and some more mines. More frag grenades potentially accidentally throw. Uh, no, hold on, hold on. Where am I on the map? This is not. I think I went a little bit too much to the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta go to the junkyard. That's where dog meat is. Red Rocket Gas Station. Make that times three. <laughs> oh, we got some dehydration. <laughs> Mid-air. See that Gen Z shit? Uh, he said it in the song. Oh my, oh my god, fucking dear lord. That was like an M1000. That was so fucking loud. Jesus, it scared the shit out of me. God damn it. Yeah, chat. People are still lighting fireworks here. It's only August. Is that a red rocket in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> Jesus. Welcome back to the stream, Dan. Good morning, dude. Happy Friday. Hope your week's been well, man. Started up, uh, start up a playthrough of Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands, which mods in Fallout 3 and the DLC into New Vegas. And it's been an absolute blast so far. Oh, hello, Raiders. Dan, this headshot is just for you. Any last words, Raider? Before I blast your pea-sized brain into a million pieces. Too late. Wicked sick. Eats. Bro, what? That wasn't in the game? The hell are they even lighting? <laughs> it's it's definitely like some mini mini sticks of dynamite dude sounded like an m1000 it's just fucking loud but yeah no that was not in game <laughs> but yeah they're still actively lighting off fireworks it's pretty annoying dude <laughs> pretty annoying 
Uh, I forgot to store away the, the nu Nuka Colas. That's what I forgot. All good, all good. No big, no big. Dan, you play through Fallout 3, yeah? Yeah, the first time I tried Fallout 3 was when um, Games for Windows Live was still connected to it. And that shit was so buggy and it fucking crashed like crazy. The fuck was that? Lul. Well, that's it for today's stream chat. God damn it, dude. Oh my lord. Oh my god, I gotta run all the- Oh my god. <laughs> no. You died. You suck at this game. <laughs> no. God damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you fucking shenanigans. God damn it. <laughs> oh, Nez, that's the first thing you saw. Fuck. <laughs> Katharina, good morning. <laughs> that was... I guess I can put away the Nuka Colas now. It's a son of a bitch. <laughs> Good morning, Katharina. Good morning, Nez. <laughs> Welcome on back to one of the best streams here on Twitch.tv. <laughs> oh, fucking bollocks, mate. Fucking bollocks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna store away these grenades since uh, Our modest we find some. Fans. Praise Yo, Jungle Chili dropping in the prime sub, dude. Guys, come and get some love and hype in the chat, dude, for the brand new sub. Jungle Chili literally just joined in the community like half an hour ago. And he is dropping his free prime sub here in the chat. Let's show him, let's show him some love, guys. No, oh, thank you very much, Jungle. Thank you very much. Of all the thousands, millions of channels that you can use that on, potentially getting even more emotes than here. Thanks for choosing to drop the prime here. Enjoy that sub badge, those They're 19 pretty, emotes, <laughs> and the ad-free viewing for one month. Much love, dude. What's gonna be your first sub emote in the channel? <laughs> but I'm doing good, Nez, besides that bullshit that you just witnessed upon your entrance. <laughs> Hope your Friday Friday's going well, dude. How's Fallout 3 treating you, bro? It's late, but I had to say hi and chill for a bit. Thanks so much, Dan. You tuned in at a good time. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it so far. It's been good. Dan, I have 197 mods. <laughs> I know, I know. It's like, why not make you 200? I like how you think. No, but yeah, it, it, it's been great, man. It's been great. Okay. Um... So now that we got that in there, let's drink, uh, let's drink our water now. And dude, this is a uh, this is a modded player home called the crib. You got your auto dock to heal you up, remove uh, rads. You got your water purifier, turns dirty water into purified water. I got I, I got my own fishies shit. I got my own little post-apocalyptic fish with like eight eyeballs. Y'all got a locker room, Nuka Cola machine that turns stored Nuka Colas in the ice cold variants. I got I got a little I got a toilet. Unfortunately, no lid. Um. Sink, shower, little, 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 got my workbench and reloading bench. Got a place to store all my guns. Got a cozy little living room, bed, couch, alcohol cabinet, fridge. 
Jukebox. Very, very chill. Chill little man cave. Uh, it's a downloaded mod or a player home. Um, player home mod made by, I think this guy called Tanner. Uh, if you type in exclamation point mods, I've included a link to his website where he stores all of his mods. This is a really w well made player home. Okay. Uh, and DJ Eclectic, welcome back to the stream. This is my alert message. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> Excellent choice. Nah, but thanks so much, Jungle. I really appreciate that, man. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the Prime. And if you'd like to join into, uh, our Discord, by all means, feel free. Uh, why are- oh, there we go. Okay, let's just store those. Okay, alright, let's go. Take two. Cheers, yo Sam, good to see you. You too, DJ. I was just stream you you streamed earlier, right? I think. Am I tripping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baldur's Gate 3 treating you well. Man. DJ's playing Baldur's Gate 3. Dan's playing Baldur's Gate 3. Nez is playing God Baldur's Gate 3. My grandma's asking about Baldur's Gate 3. Shit, everybody. <laughs> Hope your adventures. And Baldur's Gate 3 uh, treating you all well. I'm going to play that game sometime. Eventually. I will. It's too good of a game for me potentially not to try out. Alright, take care, Jungle Chili. Jungle Chili. Have yourself a good night and a good weekend ahead. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate that. Your Fallout 3 mod list is longer than my permadeath Skyrim list. You crazy. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I've, I'm thankful that I was able to follow a, uh, a guide that helped me mod it properly. So that, uh, to like reduce conflicts and uh, minimize potential crashes. Playthrough seems to be going well. Fuck yeah, dude. Pro veteran streamer, only the best content everywhere else. Uh, negative 10 out of 10. Wouldn't recommend unless you like looting and inventory management sprinkled with a healthy serving of hoarding. Well said, Ichi. <laughs> we're gonna make it we're gonna make it a threefer. We gonna make it a threefer. I'm definitely gonna be checking out these mods. Hells yeah, dude. Yeah, I've been deep in Baldur's Gate so good. Hells yeah. Yeah, I might pick it up for PS5 just so I have the ability. Well, I mean, I know you can also do it on the PC version, but uh, yeah, for the split screen co-op. So if I ever have any homies that come over and they want to check it out, we can, we can play split screen. Glad the playthrough is going well, man. Game looks so beautiful and just, ah, man. Love all the love all the voice acting, the performances, and just man, everything about Baldur's Gate 3 screams a game that I'd like to play sometime. Baldur's Gate 3 is sexy as heck. No you. I mean I've uh, showed in. How goes your uh was it your I know you made a warlock, right, Dan? Halfling warlock? Yeah. And um DJ, you have a, you have a sorcerer. Is it just a human sorcerer? And I know Nez, you got a, you got that halfling paladin paying homage to your first D and D character. I'm surprised I remembered all that, dude. My memory's like, not that great. That's because this is not Sam. This is an AI version of Sam. Wait, what? Totally human. All day. Any of you guys have any screwdrivers I can have for, for lunch? Huh? The fuck are you saying? Oh shit, oops. Man, I 
I didn't bring any water with me. Oops. Oh, well. Looks like we're rocking that dehydration. Dehydration nation. Whoa. Easy, doggy. You will love it, Sam. Hell is he? Ah, no, no more luck. No more luck. My mistake. My mistake. No, I. I'm sure I definitely will. I, I liked their previous games, like Divinity Original Sin and Divinity Original Sin 2, so I'm already a fan of the developers, but oh, dude. To make that my, like, foray into the Baldur's Gate franchise? Oh, dude. Like, I'm so down for that. Baldering while we balder. <laughs> Balderception. My deep gnome is gonna deep gnome some sexy demons. You feel me? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Hells yeah, dude. Um, if you guys have played Baldur's Gate, like the the first games, am I gonna be lost just hopping straight into three or nah? Nah? Okay, cool. That's good. I have to go to Big Talk with CEO today because things are shit. I'm considering to leave as well. And honestly, I just really do not want this combo. Can Salmon, can someone go in my place? Oh, Katharina. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, any potential places that, uh, you want to apply to? If you leave this company, which it sounds like you want to. Oh. Fucking bloat fly. The grandma sounds so awesome. <laughs> My grandma is awesome. I love my grandma. <laughs> but no, no, she, she doesn't play games. My grandma's awesome, though. She's a straight G, dude. I remember correctly, there is a Protectron around here that is hostile. And there's also... Some... Uh, some locks that we can break into. I know there's at least two. I hope the conversation goes as well as it could, Katharina. Sorry, you're going through a bit of a bit of a rough rough patch at work. You're hardworking, amazingly talented, and so I know you will land on your feet somewhere else. Hopefully, somewhere that has better management and uh pays you pays you well too pays you for what you're worth nice I guess the Protectron just randomly was walking through here last time we killed him. That's fine by me. Okay, and I remember we headed this way. I have a PS5 finally. Oh, nice, Ichi. Let's go. Grats. I'm currently running a Drow Sorcerer, and it is so sad, and it's so satisfying. Ooh, Drow. Nice. What kind of racials do they got? Yeah, I saw your character. Your character looks like a straight stud muffin. Drow look cool. I went Deep Gnome for the freakish arms. Arch Fairy Warlock. Demon Patron is an evil fairy. 
Are there a lot? Of, do you have a lot of different choices for like demons that you can summon as a warlock? And thankfully, the AI is also smarter than Sam. Hey! God, I love exploring the world of Fallout. So good. So many little treasures hidden around. Okay, so there's the red rocket. Touch my rocket. <laughs> whoa! 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 Give me money. Don't you dare. Your brother was a bitch anyways. Join him in the grave. I see you. I see you, buddy. Where are you going, man? <laughs> Dominating. Lol. Lol. Oh, he's, he's, oh my god, he's got a fucking grenade. Oh, dude, can I, I did not know you can target the grenade. Let's see if we can, oh my god, if I can blow this up, that would be so awesome. Three, two, one. Awesome. I've never done that before. <laughs> Get fucked. Oh, that was so awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> Peace. You ain't throwing jack shit. <laughs> lol. Lol. Boom. Oh. Fathers get one too unnecessary. Still great games, but with over 20 years apart, they're separate things. Just some Easter eggs for the oldest fuck vets. Nothing you need. Oh, good point, DJ. Yeah, maybe get it on PC for the mods. Yeah, yeah. I heard there's actually already some uh, some mods available. Good point. Good point. Well met. Well met. Hey, Devin 10K. Welcome to the stream. Oh, he had a chainsaw. Let's go. Oh, hey, look it. Another guy trying to blow me up. Let's stop him in his tracks, yeah? <laughs> Stupid assholes. Oh, lol. Hello all and nice. Joined at a good spot. Hells yeah, Devin. Welcome on into the stream. It's cheers. Oh, I'm... Oh, I'm sorry, Hellcat. Was that your cousin? Get fucked. <laughs> Welcome back to the stream, Hellcat. Cheers, dude. Hope you had a good Thursday, man. And Devin, you came at the perfect time. I totally am not retreading territory because I, uh... Was next to a car and got blown up by these same raiders. Totally didn't happen 10 minutes ago. Totally not. Very good at video games. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the stream, man. Hope you enjoy your stay. We're just kicking it out here in the capital wasteland. Killing raiders. Looting things. Looking for our dog meat companion. It's a good time. Sweet. Junkyard is right there. Beautiful. <sighs> Lol, it happens. Appreciate you understanding. You a fan of you a fan of Fallout, Devin? 
I would like to keep working in IT as a manager or product owner, just where I am actually appreciated for my hard work. Yeah, Katharina, you deserve nothing less than that. And I really hope you are able to find a place that compensates you well and, uh, yeah, it's just managed a lot better than where you're at currently. That's the, that's the least you deserve. Or that's like, you know, like bare minimum, you know? in a non-toxic workspace that's not stressing you out constantly it's no bueno for people's mental health ones for character creation i would like to see old oh, mods have you seen nora from queens starring aquafina as nora is your is your grandma a g like her grandma oh no i haven't seen that Mr. Badger, is it like a TV series or is it a movie? I know who Aquafina is, but no, I haven't seen that myself. Scrapyard, we here, baby. Oh, dude. Dan, this is another player home. It's a mobile home. If you have high enough repair skill, you can repair this this truck right here, and uh, you can use it to fast travel around the wasteland. You can only like fast travel to places that you actually explore to make it, you know, like not as like to make it not super cheap. But uh, yeah, dude, here the, the keys for the the mobile base are like right behind me. I'll show you. Check it out, dude. Check it out. You got your gun. You got a... There we go. Light switch. Got your gun cabinet. Little toilet. Sink. Store some alcohol there. Nuka-Cola fridge. Activate the cot where you can sleep there. Um, you got some medicine storage, uh, ammo crafting, workbench, and uh, yeah, you just need, I believe you just need uh, flamer fuel in order to uh, to get it running. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Warlocks can summon familiars like quasi quasites. Imps, etc. They're not very strong, but useful utility like flying, distracting. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely for distraction. Nice. Also, 11 races in Baldur's Gate 3. Damn. Got them. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's so much, so many options in Baldur's Gate 3. That guy owed me money. Now I get nothing. <laughs> Good to see you, Hellcat. I'm replaying Fallout 4 modded, no dumb mods, just graphical weather, uh, new and modern weapons and armor, quality of life improvements, and realistic damage. Makes it hard as fuck, but it goes both ways. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. For like, everyone's, including yourself, you guys are like glass cannons. I don't like playing vanilla Fallout on harder settings, because people just feel like bullet sponges. Yeah, my difficulty settings are tweaked here too, where I'm playing on hard, but... Um, using one of like, it's like a mod called Stewie's, Stewie's Tweaks, makes it so that it's, uh, the option is called like Metro, Metro style difficulty, where, yeah, it turns everyone into like glass cannons. Or you can do a lot of damage to them if you're aiming for headshots, but likewise, they can also do that to you. Dog me, dog me, leave dog meat alone. Oh, I think dog meat got the the second raider. Let's go, Hayes. Let's go say hi to our companion. Dog me. <laughs> Lol, bend down for me, bitch. Mm. Hey, buddy. You know. I think you're the first dog I've met that didn't try to eat me. Oh, oh, oh. 
pretty friendly, aren't you, boy? Mm. Come with me, dog. It'll be good to have some company out here. Oh, oh, oh. Dogmeat has given you the man's best friend perk. Sweet. All right, let's go. We got our buddy. I'm not your buddy, guy. I'm not your guy, pal. I'm not your pal, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. And he can also be my little pack mule. <laughs> no, but dude, right on, Devin. I uh, I enjoyed modding Fallout 4 as well. Kind of got burnt out of it after a while, but dude, man, there's some there's some fucking insane mods coming to Fallout 4. I think the mo one of the most anticipated mods, and I'm sure you heard of it, is Fallout London. Like a full-on conversion mod that puts Fallout in a different country. It's looking good, dude. It's looking really fucking good. Definitely would recommend you look into it. I feel like this combo might go shit way since I am actually very furious and angry inside about everything. And if he is going to ask me some stupid shit, I might lose it. Before you go into that meeting, Katharina, just take a take a few deep breaths and voice voice your frustrations, but go about it in a way so that your so so that your higher up can't use it like against you kind of thing. You know? Like keep keep your composure as as best as you can. Like I, I know you're I know you're very frustrated, but be uh be mature in how you present it. Maybe mature is not the right word, but you know, like don't don't just like blow up because then you know that's gonna. He's not. I feel like it's. It's not gonna be as approachable. To uh, to speak to, to speak with you, in in that way, you know, because then it is just gonna turn into like and like people just yelling yelling back and forth, and you know, I feel like nothing's really gonna get resolved if that happens. Not saying it's gonna be easy, <laughs> but yeah. Try your best to speak your points in a calm, in a calm, collected manner. Yeah, it's a TV series. Ah, okay. Is it on like Hulu or like where is it? Where is it streaming? Oh, well, that's cool as fuck. Just like in Fallout One and Two, besides the interior. Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah, man. Freaking awesome. Yeah, the first little part of it that is out. Uh, Miami as well. Oh yeah, there's also Fallout Miami, and um. There's also modders. I don't know if you uh, are subscribed to or watch Juicehead on YouTube, who makes like a lot of Fallout content. But he made a video recently talking about um, some like cool mods. So he mentioned Fallout London, and there's also modders working on bringing Fallout One and Two into the Fallout Four engine. Okay, I'm gonna have him hold some stuff for me. Actually, wait. Um, I have like duplicates. So yeah, like, ah oh, man, I, I'd, I'd, I'd also like to return to Fallout 4 at some point, just for like those these crazy ass DLCs, mod, DLC sized mods that people are working on. Converted 45 machine pistol. Ooh, that sounds like fun, doesn't it, Chat? Homer, you got any plans for the weekend? <laughs> Shit, maybe. Sorry, man. You, st you still planning? My bad, dude. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. Lul. <laughs> Welcome back, Luis. <laughs> Cheers, man. Good to see you, bro. We just got uh, we just got dog meat. Oh man, we got a chainsaw. That's fucking awesome, dude. Hope you had a great Thursday, man.
I remember the Miami mod group got a cease and desist from Bethesda years ago, but I could be wrong. Oh, what? Really? Oh, that's fucking whack. I hope they, I hope the guys that are making Fallout London don't because that mod is looking absolutely insane. TK Mantis is another Fallout content creator that I actually really enjoy watching his videos. So sounds like a really down to earth guy and he's, he makes a lot of cool informative videos about the Fallout universe. How you doing tonight, Luis? Good to see you. Welcome on back. I'm just doing. I'm. I'm going to be doing some quests for Moira, and potentially blow up Megaton tonight. But you know, I'm taking my time. Not. Not trying to. Not trying to speed through anything. Let me see. Do all of these sell roughly for the same amount. Just hold on. Let me just try to consolidate the repeating ones. Okay. Okay. Now let me give these to dog meat. You also hold these for me, dog meat. Good boy. Who's a good pack rat? Thanks for checking out the channel, Devin. Actually, wait, Devin, you've you've been here before, right? I'm trying to remember. Twelve gauge. Don't need the energy cell. 45, 32, throw that away. Not throw, but transfer that. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, dog meat, roll. What time is it right now? It is... Twenty-one forty-eight. so what is that? Almost 9 p.m.? Can I fast travel back? Ah, I can. Okay, so then let's do this. Since this, since we're here at the scrapyard and the minefield is just a little bit up north, I'm going to fast travel home, unload, drink some water because our character is dehydrated, and then we'll head back in the morning. <laughs> you like that, Allie? Cheers, dog meat, best doggo. Hells yeah. Been relaxing on my <clears throat> only day off. Well, hey, thanks for coming to relax on your day off here, dude. Appreciate it. Slept like 10 hours. Damn, hibernation mode. Yeah, I have been here before. Okay, your, yeah, your name did sound familiar. I forgot what, exactly where or like which game we met from. Yeah, thanks for coming to kick it. My water purified. Um, question, Devin. Um, what are you using to organize your mods? Are you using Vortex or are you using Mod Organizer? I previously used Vortex, but found out that Mod Organizer is way better. Oh, you're on Xbox. Ah, okay. Well, hey, I'm glad at least Xbox, um... Uh, I'm glad they, I'm glad they eventually got the ability to have mods. I know it took a while. Ah, okay, okay. You playing on, you playing on Series X then? I think there's mods on there that you have to pay for though, right? Like, it's not all of them, but some of them. I know it doesn't compare to to PC, but uh unwavering purpose. I hope as time has gone on 
console players have had uh, or have been able to get more of the mods that were only exclusively available on PC. Don't have a game PC on oh, that's okay. I was just curious. Ahmed, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on into the stream. It's cheers. I'm gonna be try to be as quick as I can, Chad, as quick as I can. Thanks, dog me. Good boy. Good boy. Put all of our parts in here. Now, all the mods are free. Only the dumb, uh, dumbass creation kit is paid for, which is pointless. Ah, that's what it was. Creation kit. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are not getting nickeled and dimed for those mods. Is there a good selection from what you saw? Yeah, we're only going to be carrying right now the 10 mil and the 12 gauge. Everything else... You know what? This put. I'll just put everything in submachine gun case. Actually, wait, hold on. Laser pistol. Uh, knives are here. Chainsaw sounds awesome, but it's a little too heavy. And then that raider armor we will sell. Let's take all the purified water. I'm gonna have to drink a bunch of it because I'm pretty thirsty. Food. Okay. Dog meat, I want to heal you up. How do I heal you? That dog meat used the aid. Stimpak. There we go. Let's go to bed, dog meat. And we'll head out in the morning. Perfect. Ooh. I still have minor dehydration. Might need to eat some food to help out with that. There are more than enough mods on console now. Tons ported, ported over straight from PC. Okay, hells yeah. I don't even look at the creation kit. The mods are a thousand times better, yeah. That's good. I'm glad you're not, like, forced into that. I play Fallout 4 on Xbox and many mods are really good. Fuck yeah. Some add more missions and... I... From an accessibility standpoint, I think it's fantastic that you can... That you can play on a console, play comfortably from your couch, and be able to experience uh, mods. Like to install it easily kind of thing, you know? I think that's awesome. Because I could, I totally understand people uh, not wanting to mod because it sounds too complicated or it's just like, it's just too involved for what, too much, too much work involved for what they want out of their game. Like, ah, I want to be able to just like, you know, like press a few buttons and just get it and, you know, not have to think too much, which totally makes sense. Let's drink this bloat fly smoothie. It won't help our hydration all that much, but kind of need as much as I can get right now. Um, squirrel stew. Now that just helps with food. I'll take one. 
Take two. Might actually run into town and see if I can uh, buy some water. Go dog meat. Especially when I use the lightsaber mod and go Darth Vader on everything with the Vader outfit. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> I just heard the Vader no in my head. No. Oh, I never realized there was there was a guard at the top of Megaton. I <laughs> thirsty partner. Never knew that. Moriarty's coldest drink. We do get a little bit of a discount at Moriarty, so let's see if we can buy some uh some water there. You got you guys got any plans for the upcoming weekend? My work is having a a trip to go over to I think they're going to Santa Barbara for the day this Saturday, but I opted not to cuz I'd rather just stay at home and play video games and hang out with you guys. <laughs> Not that I wouldn't have a good time hanging with my coworkers, because I do like them, but nah, I value my weekends too much to want to do that. I'd much rather just stay at home. Colin Moriarty, at your service. If you've got the. Ah, only sells dirty water. Weak. Useless. Dog! <laughs> Allie, you like dog meat? You like dog meat? Isn't he a cute boy? <laughs> I guess, like, his appearance changed starting in, uh, New Vegas. Because, yeah, dog meat looks... He looks, like, more like a German Shepherd in Fallout New Vegas in 4. But he's still a good boy. Hey, Ahmad. Thanks for still hanging out in the stream, man. Hope you're enjoying yourself, and I hope you're enjoying those channel point rewards. You can also trigger stuff like I will send you to Jesus. And Nani? Nice. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, man. Enjoy the show, enjoy the show. Yay. Hey, what can I get you? You got any water, Jenny? You got any water, Jenny? Here, take a look. I love you, Jenny. Only dirty water? Man, you guys suck. No purified water? Come on, man. It's only a post-apocalypse. Bruh. Fine, I'll take it. Kind of need is whatever I can get. Enjoy. Remember. Your suffering shall exist no longer. It shall be washed away in Adam. I think that's the only like kind of like general drink or trade vendor. Especially look for different radio stations mod. Oh yeah, those are cool too. Yeah, I don't play unfortunately I can't play any of the uh music on the radio stations because uh DMCA. Yeah, you can also glitch your way up to the guard, to that guard, and if you get there, he'll say, How the hell did you get up here? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Hello? Oh, you work this work? You work this weekend, Louise? Gotcha. Do you usually work on Saturdays? Back to school season has arrived. Yeah, shit, man. People are going back to school soon. Meaning there's going to be more traffic on the roads for me. Woohoo!
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, Devin. I don't know if, I don't think Nuka Cola helps with hydration now. It makes me more dehydrated. He has a great dog. <laughs> He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Man, water is like the thing I need the most. I'm playing uh, I'm playing hardcore mode. So we do have to keep our character hydrated, fed, as well as uh Make sure he doesn't, he's not like sleep deprived, but water is the, water I feel like goes down so fast. Okay, so now let's head over to minefield, or to the scrapyard, and then we'll walk up, we'll head up north to go to the minefield. Because I know there's a sniper there, I'm gonna see if I can go around this time and blast him. Skill book there. It says there's three nearby. This mod that I'm using, it like will mark it'll mark books if you're close by. I know that one it's pointing to right now is it's I don't think my lock picking is high enough to access it. I was just trying to See if the other ones are like around here somewhere, maybe. Let me try going to that uh that lockbox. My lock picking is at almost 60, I think. Hey, you have a doggy now. Yeah, Kale. We got dog meat. We got dog meat. Got a little homie. Little homie Megumi. And he can also hold a decent amount of loot. He's the best boy. <sighs> yeah, I've, I'm at 64. I need 11 more. Lockpick skill. All good, all good. We can always go back to that later. Hey, Fa um, hey, Devin. Who's your favorite character in Fallout 4? Let me guess. Preston Garvey? I knew it, dude. I knew it. The settlement needs your help. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> No. Mute. Shut up. I don't want to join the Minutemen. Ah, yes. The loot. Fun fact. Coincidentally, 64 is twice of 32. Hmm, you don't say. Nanny? Appreciate you hanging back in the stream, scale. Recon graph theta beacon signal found. Mm. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's he's up over there, sniping. We found some kind of a radio signal though. Quest added, not of this world. Hmm? Oh, it's up over there. Hmm, okay, okay. Let's do this minefield. First. 
Okay, I think that might be DLC mod. I know dog meat, I know, I know. You sense enemies? I know, I know, I know, boy. I heard him too. Greetings, dearest America. This is your president, John Henry Eaton. Let's chat, shall we? When I was a child, growing up in rural Kentucky, I had the best friend a boy could hope for, my dear old dog, Honey. Oh, ho, ho, the adventures we had. From Nod Creek to Hoganville we roamed, carefree and courageous. All right, we got to careful. We got to watch out for mines here. And completely inseparable. It was Dog meat, where'd you go? Boy, the perfect existence. So Dog meat. Let me ask you, America. How many of your children can say the same? How many of this nation's youth are truly happy? Truly okay. Stay a little distant, boy. Well, we both know the answer, don't we? None. America's children live in a terrifying, meaningless existence. There is no hope. No happiness. That changes right here, right now. From this moment onward, the children of this great nation are its highest priority. The Enclave will restore every American school, reinstate every youth program, and offer counseling and financial assistance Ooh, okay. to any family in need. He's we right behind this wall. Orphan children of the Capital Wasteland with qualified L Fight, President. I'm hunting. Okay, let's see if we can get a, a higher angle on the ledge there. Might be able to snipe him from here. I see you. Ooh. Chances are not that great. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. There we go. Gotcha, bitch. see some mines make sure we disarm these oh what oh god damn it hold on I think I gotta be I, I think I have to stay crouched to uh, to disarm them I didn't know that that slow-mo didn't come in handy there <laughs> I know right that's one way to disarm them and yourself. <laughs> Ooh, we got him. Entered the minefield. Be careful, dog meat. There's a lot of mines here, boy. Man, 
he fucking booby trapped the hell out of this place. So far, so good. It'd be a goddamn death sentence trying to do this at night. <laughs> well, I mean, there's there's that little red little glow, so you could still see it. But man, the ones that are just tucked away here in the grass, yeah, those would be way those would be definitely harder. Nice. Zane house. Oh, I can. Okay, I'll. I'll come back to that. Letter from Vault Tech. Oh. Damn, I crashed. I noticed that when I loot certain items from the quick menu, that it that it crashes. Like there was a bounty notice, and now there was that Vault Tech letter that crashed. That. Not really sure why that's happening, but it's all good. I'll just reboot real quick. Leaving a big old lurk for you. Thanks, Odd Angles. Much love, man. Appreciate you. Hope you had a fantastic Thursday, man. And yeah, dude. Thanks again for hooking it up with that key, dude. Really means a lot. Have a good rest of your night. Good thing I saved, like, right here. Yeah, when I loot it from the actual menu, it's okay. Yeah, that's the sec- like the second time now, or when I loot a letter from the, uh... The quick menu. It crashes. Bit of a strange bug. Air safety conscious citizen. We are writing to inform you that your family was not selected for inclusion in your chosen vault tech facility. Your deposit has been retained and your application added to a waiting list for your preferred vault. In the interest of your family's security, in the event of a minor nuclear event, please consider relocating to one of these areas, where vault tech facilities are available without a waiting list. For a full list of vault tech facilities with available accommodations in exciting locales such as Oklahoma and newly annexed Canada, contact your local vault tech representative. Vault tech wishes you and your family the best of luck in the uncertain future. Best regards, vault tech, Public Relations Department, Washington, D.C. If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. Really curious how that quest plays out. Potentially meeting and helping out with a synth. <laughs> Minor nuclear exchange. <laughs> hmm. In the interest of your family's security in the event of a minor nuclear event. Like, yeah, for sure. The word minor in front of it. Like, ah! It's okay for sure, man. <laughs> it's only a little a minor atom bomb, all good. <laughs> Thanks for still hanging out, Luis. Especially on your day off, man. Much, much love. Okay, let's go check out this house. I still need a loot Arkansas. He has like a sniper rifle, I know. Ooh, 
this combat knife. Damn, dude, look at that serrated blade. Sheesh. Ooh. 32 pistol. Assault rifle, let's go. It's 136 AM. Good thing I go in past noon. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, feel free to get some sleep if uh you get too tired. Sleep is definitely important. But yeah, you're welcome to hang out here as long as you'd like, Luis. You know that. Appreciate you. Most likely gonna okay, so it's 1 30 11 12. Okay, so you're three hours ahead of me. Um, I'm, I'll probably go to like the same time as yesterday, so like three your time. So yeah, I'll be here for a little bit more. Thank you to my lurkers as well. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. Thanks for lurking. You damn legends. Good boy, doggy. Good boy. Oh, there's a teddy bear. Oh, this is the kids' room. Good day, Commander. Tales of our endeavors day, proliferate. Yo, get foe. What up, Git fam? Welcome on in, Raiders. Thank you so much for raiding the channel. Reporting in. Let me get some cheers in the chat for Gitfo and the Raiders. Uh, a timely reappearance. The dungeon awaits. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bowl, jit -pum raid. Steaming bowl, jit -pum raid. <laughs> Steaming bowl. <laughs> Steaming bowl, disciple. jit -pum raid. Steaming bowl, jit -pum raid. <laughs> Yetfo, thanks so much for the raid, man. Welcome on in, Raiders. How are you guys doing tonight? Happy Thursday, happy Friday, happy almost goddamn weekend. What up, guys? Hello, hello. How you doing, fourth page? Ramen242, Elder God Bones, Omega Derpington, Spaghetti, spaghetti and Naked, sub, Subliminali, Mary Pota, Pot, Mary Pota. I, I, I was about to call you Pota. I think, yeah. Please correct me if I'm mispronouncing your name. Ali, thanks for rating too. CC Bob, Beska buys books. Welcome back. Gifo, thanks so much for bringing your community over here. If it's your first time here, please. I love stupid and cringy shit. I love it here. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you do. My mom saw me editing that Jurassic Park clip and was like, when are you moving out? Oh, is that the keyword for lunch is ready? Hey, where are you going? Shit. If I can make you guys laugh in any way, it is my pleasure. It's the least I can do for you guys rating the channel. Thanks so much. Yeah, currently just looting a house and being an absolute pack rat. Ooh, and hey, look. We got, uh, we got our first companion. Say hi, dog meat. Say hi to chat. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good pack meal buddy. Good boy. Okay, I think that is everything here. Let's go, dog meat. Let's go loot another house. Any of you guys, uh, fans of Fallout in the chat? I started with four and worked backwards through New Vegas. And then, um, yeah, this is three. Uh, never played, like, the classic Fallouts, like Fallout 1 and 2 or 76. But, uh, man, I, I love my post-apocalyptic settings and open world. So, dude, Fallout is, Fallout is my jam. 
It's been a minute though since I've played Fallout, so yeah, it's kind of like getting my uh, getting my feet wet again in the post-apocalypse, and it's been it's been a good time. Lunch will get me out of bed. <laughs> Hi, dog mate. <laughs> Such a cute boy. Let's see what we got. We got some food here, some Nuka Colas. Crutch. I think we can use that to make medical supplies. Yeah, so this is uh this is a town called Minefield, and it's Literally a minefield. It's just littered with landmines and uh, Where I'm heading to right now is The guy That placed all the mines around and just booby-trapped it. His name was Arkansas But we managed to take him out Oh yeah, in terms of platformers, I feel like the last one, I'm not the last one, but one of my favorites is uh, Mega Man X. I don't know if you want to consider, I don't know if that's considered a platformer. But if so, oh god, Mega Man is so good. Love me some Mega Man. Oh, the sun is setting, so I gotta be careful. Slight chance of blowing my legs up and turning into Lieutenant Dan, Korean edition. But Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs. Oh God. Another house there. Dog meat. Where are you, boy? There you go. Come on. Whoa. Oh my God. I thought that one was going to blow up. Oh, level up, baby. I love Fallout. I started with three. Hey, Adel Bose, welcome on back. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You're, you're the one that said it's a platformer. <laughs> My bad. Oh, started with three. Good shit, man. I heard the DLCs are really good for it, too. Like Mothership Zeta. I remember Louis said that one's pretty good. So yeah, I am playing Fallout 3, but it's a mod called Tale of Two Wastelands, so I'm playing Fallout 3 in New Vegas. Like, you, it brings in Fallout 3 and the DLCs into New Vegas and integrates gameplay elements from New Vegas, such as, like, the Karma system, um, the, the VAT system, and as well as adds in uh, new content like quests. Imagine Garvey pop out here and tell you another settlement needs your help. I was like, just tell me your location. <laughs> Let me help put a bullet in your head. Oh, dude. I need to crash for the night, but I hope the rest of your stream and night are lovely. Thanks so much, CC Bob. Appreciate it, dude. Thanks so much for raiding the channel. You have a, you have a great night and uh, a good Friday slash weekend ahead. Bing. But yeah, before I started my... Uh, my Fallout run was playing a good amount of Dave the Diver. Oh, such a good game. I fucking, I adore that game. Also played a little bit of Ace Attorney. Um, before that, I was playing a lot of Octopath Traveler 2. Let's bring this up to 5. And then, let's see... And then I'll put the rest into explosives. Oh, but yeah, if you if you guys like pixel art, sea exploration and management types of games, I would highly recommend Dave the Diver. It's like 20 bucks on Steam, like absolute steal. A really good game. And also coming to Switch later this year. Definitely gonna pick it up again when it comes to Switch. 
Night, CC Bob. Take care, man. Intense training, junk rounds. Um, Adel Bose, did you uh, did you ever mod Fallout Three, or did you just play uh, the base game? Playing with fire, rapid reload, swift learner, basher. The gun doesn't need bullets to be dangerous when it's in your hands. Weapon bashes now do 10% more damage and you gain a slight chance to cripple one of your target limbs. Target's limbs. Ouch. <laughs> oh, cannibal. Ah, oh, one of my favorite perks in Fallout. <laughs> Who needs stim packs when you can eat people's arms? <laughs> Educated, you gain two more skill points every time you advance in level. This perk is best taken early on to maximize its effectiveness. Okay, so I'm going to get educated, and then the uh, when we hit level five, I'm going to get cannibal. Nice. All right, dog meat, let's keep exploring around and not try to die. There are still plenty of mines around here. We must tread lightly, Dugmeat. Oh, I see one right there. <gasps> no, Dugmeat! You okay? It's just like, yeah, yeah, what? Big whoop. <laughs> like, are you part bionic? As long as you're okay, dog meat. Sorry, buddy. I didn't see the one that you stepped on. <laughs> Don't call Peter. Oh, man, it is getting hard to see. Oh, another mine. And another one. And another one. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's summoning Toby? Toby Maguire. God damn it, Kale. <laughs> I'm trying to focus, man. I'm trying to focus. You modded New Vegas and Fallout 4, but not 3. Ah, okay. Nice, man. Yeah, I've, I've also modded 4. And, uh, New Vegas. But yeah, this is my first time modding 3. Kinda, kinda went overboard. I have 197 mods. <laughs> I caught COVID last week and I was feeling very bored. Just isolating and just being in my apartment. And wanted to be productive, so I looked into mods and then I fell down the hole. I was like, here we go! <laughs> <laughs> but uh yo uh if you ever want to play three in new vegas with like the enhancements and uh yeah the the things that are are in new that are in new vegas from a gameplay perspective yo i highly recommend tale of two wastelands um exclamation point ttw that link will provide you with not only a very detailed well put together written step-by-step -step guide but it also gives you a, a video guide too, like a, a brief video guide um, that'll uh, walk you through it. But it literally tells you like every step of the way, what, what to do, uh, the mod organizer to download, which mods to install in which order to you know prevent conflicts and to make sure things are done properly. It's a really good guide. I followed that to a T. And then after you install like the essential mods that are required for uh, Tale of Two Wastelands, at the very end it says, oh, if you want to add in more mods for quality of life, change in the UI, visuals, content, it's all categorized. And that's a separate guide called the Wasteland Survival Guide. Yeah, definitely would recommend it. Timing wise, how long it'll take you? Give yourself like half an afternoon or maybe a day. The reason why it took me two days was um, I, 
I got all those mods and I was also looking into other ones on Nexus, so just testing those out and just making sure everything ran okay. Ooh, God, I hate roaches. Oh my God, you. <laughs> It was just a leg. I have three others. <laughs> we can't tell Harry. I think I put too many mods on for it. Eventually broke the game. Hello, <laughs> dude. I, I, I feel that man. I feel that. Since something similar happened to me too, and then it just burnt me out. I was like, all right, I'm done. I'm gonna go play something else. <laughs> But oh man, if there's a mod that would get me to hop back into Fallout 4, it's the DLC mod that is being worked on called Fallout London. Where it, it puts Fallout in a different country. It looks absolutely bonkers. And um, modders are also working on bringing in Fallout 1 and 2, the classic Fallout games, into the Fallout 4 engine. So even though Bethesda may not be releasing um, Fallout 5 for quite some time, man, modders are doing God's work. They're working on some really cool stuff. Can you just like please die? Oh my god. I think that's the last one. Better be. <laughs> you bastards. Thank you. Thank you for the clap, Sardine Man. Thank you, thank you. Welcome on back to the stream, dude. Wait, really? Wait. For what? Wait, really to what? Oh, Fallout London? If so, if that's what you're referring to, hells yeah, dude. Luis, look into it. It looks good. Like, damn, son. That's pretty much what happened to me. I could use melee weapons, but any firearm I try to use would reduce the frame rate to a standstill. I tried unloading mods, but it did not fix it, so I never finished it. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, that's why I'm thankful for the uh, the Tale of Two Wastelands guide. It, like, literally hands hand holds you through the process. So that you're not just adding in mods willy-nilly. Which may work out, but when you keep on adding in more and more, like, you just increase your chances of one mod conflicting with another. Oh, remake a Fallout 1? Oh, yeah, dude. Bro. Okay. So I believe this is near the entrance of Minefield. Steamed Rad Roach. <laughs> Gross. Well, I mean, shit's wild out here in the wasteland. I guess I can't really get a sirloin steak. Oh, another one? And another one. And another one. Beautiful. Almost 30 mines we found. Holy. <gasps> Almost missed that one. 
Okay, so we just needed to travel here to the playground. And then we can head back. Yeah, my Friday is okay. Just waiting an, an hour before I go to work. Need to wake up. How are you, my guy? I'm doing I'm doing much better, Artie Nan. Fully recovered from COVID. Work's been getting pretty get pretty busy as we're approaching the holiday season, but yo man. Busy is good and I'm making uh been pretty I've been making good strides at work on my first week back, like catching up, you know, get, getting back in getting back into my groove. Yeah. I'm doing much better. Thank you for asking. The three to four days where I lost my taste because of COVID, I was so sad. Ah, my god, like, oh, cool. I can't taste my favorite fried rice. This is fine. <laughs> hey, it's, it's all good. Could have been way worse, you know. Could have fucking gone to the hospital. You get a sirloin steak. Just find a Brahmin. <laughs> Ooh, you a fan of Fallout? Artie Nan, you a Fallout guy? But with the right weapon, you can stake someone in the loins. Eh. You had COVID? Oh, that's not funny. How bad was it for you? It wasn't too bad. Um, I had a minor cough. I did have I did have congestion in uh, like the throat as well as like in my nose. Um, but the worst part, honestly, was the first few days. Yo, what up, Monday stress? Welcome back, dude was the first few days. I started feeling symptoms on Sunday and that from that afternoon, Monday and Tuesday was the worst because um, it's also recommended that you don't drink caffeine because like my heart was, my heart rate was, I could, I could feel it too. It was already like, felt like my heart was working harder than normal. And I was like running out of, I had, I had, was feeling shortness of breath. Um, and so I didn't want like my heart to be working even harder just because like I'm drinking caffeine and so I went cold turkey off of coffee and I haven't been caffeine free <laughs> in a really long time like I've never gone cold turkey like that before uh so my caffeine withdrawals and those headaches combined with chills and fever oh dude I'll be honest I was fucking miserable <laughs> Thankfully, even though I saw my brother and his kid the day before, I'm glad he didn't get sick. Everybody else was fine. Like my family, like they were all good, so I was, I was relieved about that. Um, and uh, yeah, I had some I had some sick days at work, so yeah, three days out of the five days I was out was covered, and then balanced two days, Thursday and Friday. I just didn't get paid, but it's all good. My coworkers like seriously came in clutch and they covered for me. And uh when I came back, like I still had stuff to catch up on, but it could have been way worse if my coworkers didn't like help me out as much as I did while I was out. Like they were, you know, man, super thankful for them. But yeah, um Starting Wednesday, <clears throat> or like Wednesday or Thursday, it, it got better and that's when like my smell and my taste went out. And uh, so, yeah, for like the latter half of the week, it was just me uh, dealing with that. And um, what was it? Um, uh, congestion in uh, in my chest as well as in uh, like my, my nose. But yeah, in total, symptoms lasted about a week. Tested negative on Monday, um, but I'm isolating this additional second week. Uh, just to be extra safe before I go back to see my parents as well as go see my dog Zero who I miss very very much I I've, I've never been away from him for this long But yeah Shout out to my parents. They uh, they've been taking care of him on my behalf So yeah, I'm gonna test. I'm gonna take a test <clears throat> tomorrow morning like a just a little at-home test And if I test negative then uh, yeah, I'm gonna go see my parents go see my son and then I think maybe bring some pizza to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's 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 where my head is at right now. Wee. I'm all good now. I'm pretty much back to 100%. Good evening, Monday stress. How you doing, man? Yeah. 
you know I am. You're not allowed to cough. And miners, COVID is spreading a lot again. Maybe it's time for another lockdown. <laughs> Hello? Yes? Oh, you want Omnicron? <laughs> nah, I, he, yeah. He knows the symptoms. He knows, he knows it's not good. Oh, oh my God. Oh, whoo, almost blew up. Did you call out sick to play Fallout 3, Samity? Yo, what up, Tora? Welcome back to the stream, man. Cheers, dude. Heard you got some relatives in town? Yeah, you got some family in town? I, I didn't, but um, last week when I was home, <clears throat> I spent two days <laughs> just modding the shit out of Fallout. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I went back to work starting Monday. Um, pretty much caught up on where I was before I was out that week. But yeah, holiday orders are coming in and sweet Jesus, Jet. It's a lot. <laughs> but I like being busy and it's a... Uh, it's a challenge. Money, money. Money. And I like a challenge. How you doing, Toro? It's good to see you, man. Yeah, Toro finally caught COVID last week. And that's why when you asked me, like, you're not at work? Yeah, dude, I was isolating all last week. I was kind of going crazy, chat. Not going to lie. Just being just in my apartment all day. So I made sure to uh, uh, also sometimes just go out and just go for a walk. Just go outside and just not be in my fucking apartment 24-7. Felt like I was having like cabin fever a little bit. <laughs> oh, Zero, it's good to hear you are feeling better. Thank you, Ali. Appreciate it. Every time you say Monday, my ears perk up a little bit. Oh yeah, my, my bad, dude. <laughs> Just got here, bud. Sorry to hear you got sick, buddy, but glad you're here. Uh, glad to hear you survive it. Thanks, Taro. Yeah, man, me too. My uncle, uh, unfortunately, he's uh, he's still in the hospital. He's been there for a few months. Um, but yeah, he... Uh, <laughs> He, he was recovering from a, uh, a shoulder injury, and that's right when he got COVID. No vaccines. And so his body was already not at 100%. And <sighs> He's getting better, though. He's getting better. But uh, fuck, man, I, I just felt so bad for my cousin, you know? Like, I know it was tearing up at her as well as my, uh, my aunt. They're like, they're such sweethearts, you know? And, like, he's a pastor. And so, like... I, I know it was, um, I know it's been a pretty rough time for them. I'm not trying to, like, kill the vibes in here, but, yeah, just, like, just, even though, like, <laughs> staying in my apartment sucked for a week, like, not, not as much as that, so. I'm thankful that I didn't have to, like, go to the hospital or, you know, hold a fucking oxygen tank with me everywhere I went. Hearing about people that had to walk around with an oxygen tank and they're like my age it's just like shit man and then went and like they were like really they're like really healthy people they ate well they exercised and it, they still got like hit like that so it just goes to show you like the effects that it has on people like there's it's there's such a range and even if like you know you exercise and all that like doesn't mean like you're going to be okay. It's not like, oh, okay, look, I'll be fine. Like, I work out all the time. It's like, well, maybe, but maybe not. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys continue to, uh, to stay safe because, uh, yeah, man. I feel like COVID is just kind of just, it's, it's, a, it's a part of our lives moving forward. <laughs> and I hope I never get it again. <laughs> Crossed it off my bucket list even though I didn't mean to put it on there and I don't want to do it again. I meant cough at miners. Doing all right, trying to decide be between two skins in CSGO. And I can't decide. Well, hopefully they're not too expensive, Monday. E. France has conquered my home. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Doing all right, just busy, but glad I finally made it to your stream. Yeah, no, I appreciate that, Toro. Always good to see you, man. And yeah, I never stream during the week, but considering I'm not seeing uh, my parents or Zero, uh, just 
heading straight here. I was like, all right, well, just grab a quick little bite and uh, stream for a few hours. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. <laughs> Isolating is, isn't bad. I did it for years, Sammy. Nah, but like not going outside and just and just being cooped up like man I, I gotta get my vitamin d dude that shit like that shit like for reals like no joke that shit like has an effect on your mental like how you actually like feel but it definitely it's, it's good to step outside and get, get that sunlight but yeah i mean you have a dog so i know that's not really an issue i hate going outside <laughs> Gotta head to bed. Have a good night, Altairus. You killed the vibe like you killed the kitty cats in games. Good morning, Pug. Good happy Friday. When are you gonna let go of that? When are you gonna let go of that, Pug? That was literally so many years ago in Assassin's Creed Origins. God damn it. I still have that image in my head, Pug. Thanks so much for bringing it back into my memory bank. <laughs> Cheers, Pug. How you doing, man? How you do? I know you came right at the tail end of the stream yesterday, so glad you're, uh, able to stop by while I'm on for like another 45 minutes or so. Dude, Toro, have you been seeing your YouTube channel? I don't know what it is about the aisle, but dude, your some of your Let's Play videos are like really popping. Like it has your aisle, the aisle videos have more views than your fucking rap song. Just like, oh, I guess people were really looking for the aisle on YouTube. <laughs> Which makes me happy because I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. More people to potentially check out and stop by your stream. I feel like the aisle has been a good game for you. Sam uh, using COVID as an excuse to play both wise. Out. It wasn't an excuse. Dog meat, can you please move? Thank you. Fucking Monday stress. God damn it. Focus on your skins. I hope he feels better super soon. Thank you, Ali. Means a lot. That's why I eat what I want when I want. Yeah. And that's and that's why you get constipated shits all the time. And you have trouble pooping. Eat your veggies, Toro. Alright? Enough of this fried chicken, like, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Alright? Yes, that sounds amazing. Come on, man, you gotta mix in some greens. Can't be just living off of fucking fried pork cutlets and G Fuel. Bruh. I wanna see you live past the age of 40. Preferably. <laughs> what a sucker. Abe, steal yourself. We are building an army. Mondi, thank you so much for the gift sub to Maddie Hunt. One of my mods. Much love, dude. I know people who have lost loved ones from that shit. It's serious business, man. So I'm glad that you're doing well. Yeah, thank boy. you, Altaris. Thank you, man. And yeah, no, no, exactly. So when people still think like it's a hoax. Like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> it is very real. <laughs> it's like, and when people say that, it's a, it's like an insult to all the people that are no longer here, as well as, like, all the people that work in, like, the medical field that are just fucking, I'm sure, like, mentally exhausted and drained from, like, having to take care of so many people, you know? So it's like... Uh, shut your mouth. <laughs> Dog meat, I'm so sorry. I didn't see that mine. I have French family visiting, so I'm catering to their needs. What the fuck? I didn't know you had relatives that lived in France. The shit? Like multiple hundreds. <laughs> oh my god. Don't, don't buy that knife, Monday. I don't think that's worth it. I think Toro can give you the vitamin D. <laughs> Jesus. A little bit spicy. 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 When I got sick with COVID, it was more like a super cold for me. Oh, yeah, Luis? That time is because I couldn't eat my pizza. 
Okay, this time I'm going to bed for reals. <laughs> Good night, Altairus. Much love, dude. I have a YouTube? Why didn't you tell me this sooner, Samothy? <laughs> this guy need, this guy need. Let's go, man. Yeah, guys, if you're not, uh, if you're not following one of my best friends who I've known for a very long time, please go show some love to, uh, Ectoro at twitch.tv forward slash Ectoro. Plays a lot of Valorant. He's been playing the Isle. Also plays horror games sometimes. Yeah, he's, he's good peeps, man. I love this man. Would appreciate if you check out his channel sometime. Tora, I know like I've said this so many times, but do you like Like seriously man? For reals, bro? I'm really happy you I'm really happy you started streaming when you did. I know you've been interested in it for many years before you started, but man, I'm ha I'm so happy you took that plunge, you know? You've created your own little corner on Twitch and people that show up as soon as you go live. That's saying something, man. You're doing something right. If people are going to drop what they're doing, or even, like, leave a lurk for you as soon as you go live. I love seeing my friends grow and succeed, so... And I see that happening to close friends like you, like... It warms my loot whoring Korean heart. Like, fuck yeah, dude. Plus, you're a loudmouth and you never shut the fuck up, so like... <laughs> you're born to be a streamer. <laughs> Not kid. <laughs> I get it. I had COVID a couple years ago. Brutal. Oh, did you? Leave my tummy alone, Samothy. Yolo, fried chicken for every meal is amazing. Let me tell you about it. Yeah, I'm good. I was up and at uh, work at 4 a.m. UK time. Daddy, chill. 4.30? Really? That's too early. What, what, why are you at work so early? Deal with it. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> being, constipated, being constipated is good for gym, bro. The harder you have to push the stronger the anus. <laughs> Does it count if some of the fried chicken is green? Green fried chicken. What is this? I might already have a knife. I'm deciding between op skins. <laughs> oh my god, Monday. <laughs> I have relatives all over the world. If I ever have a baby, I shall raise it in a country I don't have any relatives in so I can keep the tradition going. All right, well. Looks looks like it's going to be in... Uh, like, where does Amalia live? <laughs> Damn Kima's friends. Just a few. I love you, Sammy. Love you too, Tara, man. Love you too, homie. Take a bullet for this Peruvian man. For reals, dude. He's a real one. Alright, I think we have fully cleared out minefield. <laughs> Picked up a total of 44 landmines. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Yeah, we have come full circle. <gasps> oh my god, there's one right there. Now I think we got all of them. Alright, dog meat. I need you to be a good... A good pack rat. And carry some stuff for me. Oh, oh, oh. I'm happy to, Samothy. Really happy to be your friend and being on this journey together, brother, man. Fuck yeah, dude. Amen, dude. A fucking man. Sad after all this loot that I got, I barely found any water, which is what I need the most. Lol. Permanent medicine. Okay, we'll read these books since they're permanent buffs. Ooh, stealth boy! All this shit turns us invisible. Oh, those are super rare. Hell yeah.
Modulated beam pistol. Ooh, nice. Okay, dog meat is almost full. Okay, all right. He's he's completely maxed out. Good boy. All right, let's go. Let's go check out this radio signal that's up ahead. Hi. Hi. Who is that? Cat. Welcome back to the stream. Silently doing a lurky lurk. He thinks you must be addicted to this with three streams in a row. Just a little bit. <laughs> Here's Cat. Much love. Thanks so much for the lurk. I do rank to diamond one, but I'll be back at diamond three tonight. Mark my words. Uh, when are your, when is your family or how long are they here for? Hey, yo, relax, son. Wow. But it's Norway. Ah, okay. All right. So it looks like the baby's going to be in Norway. <laughs> Wish, wishing you and Amalia all the best, man. <laughs> dog versus dog and our companion one. He says he'll take a bullet, but I have yet to try his kimchi. <laughs> Toro, I know you like kimchi and seaweed. Next time we meet up, I'm going to try to give you uh, some some good kimchi and some really good seaweed from Korea. I think my mom still has some. It's like night and day difference, dude. It's so delicious. Only amen. No semen. <laughs> no semen. Amen. And what semen? <laughs> oh, have you? Uh, because it's what time I start work, but I finish. Oh, you finish at two thirty. Man, dude, so you're waking up at like three, three thirty. Man, that's tough. Have you seen? Have you seen in Fallout New Vegas? There's a mod that turns Mr. House into Elon Musk. No, I have not. <laughs> if you uh, if you can find that, please post it in my Discord. I would love to check that out. Appreciate the lurk, cat. Thanks so much. Let's go, dog meat. Ooh, okay, so we've got like a like a radioactive plant up over there. Some kind of strange signal we're picking up on this frequency. Oh, we've got some more doggies up ahead, some more vicious doggies. Let's fuck him up. Peace. Raising a meat pig? Now he is ready to eat? Wait, huh? Almost four and a half? Bruh, don't let the kimchi and seaweed go to waste. How Saturday night? <laughs> Wait, when is your family here till? Alright, Sam. I gotta get ready for work. I'm not feeling... 
I'm not feeling today, but I gotta do it. I gotta do it. You got this, Artie Nan. Thank you very much for hanging out, bro. I hope you have a good shift. And if I don't see you, uh, if I don't chat with you this weekend, have a great weekend, man. Stay strong, Artie Nan. You got this, bro. Much love, dude. Poppers, cheers, brother. Happy Thursday, man. I hope you had a fantastic day. How you doing? Wait, don't bring COVID over here, Sammy. Wait till you get better and then hit me up. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take a test again tomorrow. Just to be a little extra safe. This is going to give us some rads, but fuck it. I have rad away at home. Our hydration should be completely okay now. Yep, hydration is good. Shit, if it's my own company, ain't got anyone else to send. Or it's my own company, ain't. Oh, oh, what the fuck? You own your own business, dude? That's awesome, man. It leaves Saturday in the morning, but I think I have more family coming in next week or sometime in the future. Oh, okay, for sure. Yeah, I still... I still got your items um, that I need to give to you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put together a little care package for you. Give you some, give you some good foods along with it. I know you like Korean food. You okay, dog meat? You okay? Bruh, use the rat away to take away the COVID nodders. <laughs> uh, if only if it was that easy. <laughs> Well, like, I tested negative on Monday, but yeah, this this week is just like a extra precautionary isolation week. And yeah, just wearing a mask at work. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I caught COVID from my uh, logistics manager because he was coughing. He was coughing a few days before. Oh, there's this there's a skill book over here. Go check it out. Just wrap yourself in a package, Sammy, and send it over. That's enough for the weekend. Don't tell Chinny. <laughs> Lol. I don't know. She is my manager. Everything has to go through a chin, Zora. <laughs> yeah, I have had my own for seven years now. Dude, that's awesome. And it's growing pretty well at the moment. I have had an intern working here for one month just because he needed a place to be for a month. But that's kind of it. I did, though, hire my own wife. That's kind of cool. But at some point, I do need to hire people. Well, hey, yo, Artie Nan. Entrepreneur, businessman. Let's go. I respect that. That is awesome. And I'm happy to hear the company is growing. Dude, good shit. I know, like, you're like, you have to leave. But I'm curious what kind of business you're running, man. It's like a cocaine business? I'm kidding. Send me some. I'm kidding. I don't, I don't like snorting shit. Also, too expensive of a habit. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Raiders, calm down. Calm down. Hi. 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 Eats. Yo, what up, bitch, and welcome back, man. The hell with it. Where are you running? Where are you running? No, you don't. Rampage. 
So is the coffer. Did not know you like you like that kind of love. Only from Samothy, the finest Korea has to offer. <laughs> shut, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Happy Thursday, bitchin'. Hope you're having a good night, man. And Hellcat, thanks for still chilling, brother. A little raider hideout, huh? Oh, duck and cover. Nice. Got some chems. Toro, were you ever a fan of Fallout? You played. I think you. I think you also played Fallout Four, right? Okay, okay, okay. I really gotta go now. I'm feeling a bit under the weather, but that's just life. Oh, it's just the cleaning business. Yeah, cleaning business, breaking bad stuff. We clean vacation areas, harbor areas where people have their own houseboats, summer summer house style, on the water, and vet clinics, private homes, etc. And cleaning windows. It's a lot of hours and it pays super well. Oh, dude. Hell yeah, Artie, man. Yo, man. That's awesome. But yeah, um, I hope you have a good day at work today. And uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for sharing that. I didn't I had no idea. That's pretty cool, dude. Yeah, have a good one, Artie Nan. Much love, dude. Yeah, I played Fallout 4. It was great, but I don't have it on PC or else I would probably play it. Dude, you have my library. <laughs> you have access to my library. I have it there. So if you ever wanna if you ever wanna check it out, yeah, dude. Install that sucker. Let's make our way. Yeah, I have Fallout 4. I have New Vegas, obviously. I have 3. I have, yeah, I have all the Fallouts. Except, I think, some of the, like, the other spin-offs. But yeah, the main ones, yeah, I got all those. My Thursday is I can't complain. I did get fired from my job today, but I ended up taking these dope-ass picks. Oh, damn. Rip, man. I'm sorry to hear that bitchin. I hope you land on your feet and you're able to find um, somewhere else to work. Stupid ass bloat fly. This looks like some kind of a like a plant. And Ali, thanks for still hanging out too. Appreciate you, you legend. MDPL 13. Oh, it's a power station. Hello, housekeeping. Effect on robots, less lethal option. Oh, so it's like a... So we use this pneumatic pistol with these syringe darts. Ooh, another stealth boy as well. Oh, nice. Bulk, bulk, bulk. Nuka Cola Quantum, let's go. Picking up all the parts, chat. Ooh. 
Ooh, almost missed that bottle cap mine. Damn, wish I could uh, hack into this terminal, but our science skill is not that great. Hmm, I guess you have a point. I guess I'll be streaming Fallout soon then. Oh, let's go, dude. I would love to see that. Any interest in like New Vegas or or 3? Or would you want to just hop back into 4? I mean, like gunplay wise, oh yeah, for sure. Like 4 is definitely the strongest, but man, in terms of like a role playing game and like the stories, dude, New Vegas is phenomenal. Some really awesome quests and characters in there. But yeah, dude, definitely, man. We never stream at the same time, so yeah, dude, anytime you want to check it out, by all means. Ooh, it's a little dark in here, chat. It's a little... Oh, shh. We got ghouls, chat. We got ghouls. I only know four, and you know I love my gunplay. Fair enough, for sure, for sure. Would you want to just play vanilla, or would you want to, any interest in modding it? But yeah, the gunplay in four is, yeah, it's pretty good. Hey, LaMafeo, what up, the sauce advisor? Welcome back to the stream, man. How you doing? Happy Thursday. We just went into this derelict power plant, and we've got ghouls. We've got some undead friends here. Thanks, Allie. Hey, 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 you leave dog meat alone. No. You don't. Anyone else? Any other takers? Oh! Whoa! Alright everyone, chill. <laughs> Mods, I'm no hacker man. According to the BDSM test, I'm 100% vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy. <laughs> Oh, but man, dude, I, I, I would love to see you stream Fallout 4. Are you still really enjoying uh, the Isle? Like, are you still like really into that game? I feel like that game, out of everything you played recently, has introduce you to more new people because there isn't there isn't a whole lot of competition in the aisle but clearly there are people that enjoy watching um streamers play it so yeah just i feel like it's it's put put you at the top of the uh the the directory where is he dog meat Where's this asshole? Oh, I see you now. Glowing one. How you doing, Sauce? 
All right, as much as I want to keep hanging out with you guys, I need to get to bed. You all have a great night. And for everyone feeling under the weather, of the weather, either physically or mentally, take care of yourself, and I hope that you start feeling better soon. Sending my love to all of you. Much love, Daddy. Thanks so much for the kind words and the good vibes. You sleep well. Have a great Friday ahead. Much love, Daddy. Appreciate you. Turret control system. Yeah, science is not a main perk for us. Ooh, assault rifle. Let's go. Ah, okay. So that was just the uh, the side door. Okay. Then let's go upstairs. I am into the aisle, so I'll do that until my dino dies, then move to Fallout 4. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, the, uh... The risk is definitely high in that game. It's like, yeah, if your, dino, if your dino's dead, then yeah. You just pretty much have to start all over. They just love finding my stego and hunting it down, and I don't go down without a fight. Hell yeah. <laughs> Love how whenever someone new pops in, you're like, hey, are you in this server? <laughs> Leave me alone. Let me become like full grown first. <laughs> They're like, nah, dude, I'm just watching. <laughs> the name sounds slightly sexual for some reason. Fisto. Ooh, it's the power fist. I love the power fist. It's so bad. <laughs> Lol. We got a power fist. <laughs> nice. I'm so sad I can't access those terminals. I want to read. I want to read the stories. Got a lot of good loot though. Good, good stuff. Go dog meat. Let's head on out of here. We've picked this place clean. Bring the Fisto when you visit, Sammy. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Toro. It would be uh, it'd be nice to hang out again. Oh, oh. Jesus, don't scare me like that, dear Lord. <laughs> My God. <laughs> How's Bank doing, Toro? Did you go get, uh... Or was he there when you guys went to go get sushi? Hope he's doing good, man. Haven't seen Bank in forever. It's been a minute since I've seen TCR2. Yeah, I hope they're doing good. There's one skill book nearby. Oh, 
man. We are so full, though. I'm, like, running out of, uh, action points quickly. We, we went to go get... We went to get Peruvian food. Can you believe he's never tried Peruvian food? The audacity. Ooh, bank? No fucking way, dude. He's tried, like, El Pollo Inca. Right? Are we talking about TCR? No, I don't, I don't believe... What? For reals? What the fuck? <laughs> well, if like, you mean like authentic Peruvian food, like the less Americanized version, like, okay, I can understand that, but never had Peruvian food? The hell? No, 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 TCR loves Peruvian. I finally got him to try it and he fell in love. Wait. TCR? We're, we're talking about Bank now, right? You got Bank to try it? Good day, Commander. You finally got Bank to try Dude, Bank never even had, like, El Pollo Inca? What? But then, then again, maybe it's just there weren't any around him, but... Oh, dude. Well, yo, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you showed him the dankness that is Peruvian. Fuck yeah, man. We've got some enemies here. Faye! Welcome back to the stream. Good morning, good morning. Happy Friday, how you doing? I'm gonna be ending the stream soon, because uh, I do have work tomorrow. But hello, hello? Chairs? Ow! Oh, it's the bloat flies. I'm doing good, Faye. I, uh, I caught COVID last week, but no, like, I'm pretty much back to 100% now, so we are all good. Work's been, work's been pretty busy. And I've been playing catch-up since I was out last week, but it's all good, it's all good. What hole? Fucking get power fisted. <laughs> Glad you're doing decent, though. Glad you're doing decent. Scavenger. And it's, it's dark. I can barely see anything. Hey, scout handbook. Leather armor, nice. Wait, yeah, but I still got to say hi. Yeah, and I appreciate that. Thank you for stopping by. Always good to see you, Faye. Sam, I'm making a reef fish tank. It's gonna be so pretty. <gasps> Ooh, nice. Please share big pictures in my Discord if you want. I would love to see that. Oh, whoa. Sorry, doggies. It's either you or me. And it definitely ain't me. You have discovered Old Grove. Aw, oh, nothing in the safe. Weak. Almost level five. He has a ton of white hairs now, but still goofy old bank. It was good seeing him and Iris again. Aw, you saw Iris too? Nice. He has a bunch of white hairs, really. <laughs> oh, that's cool, though. Who needs work? Call out, Samuel. Nah, man, I used up all my sick days recovering from COVID. Thank you, Faye. I appreciate it. 
it's going to be hideous for like two years, but I can definitely send some photos as I do. As I do, it's not not. Yeah. Sounds good. I, I can't though. <laughs> I've got a lot of important deadlines coming up. Sorry, bitch, and I cannot. Personal footlocker. Oh, I, I think that's where the other skill book is. Dog me. You still here? Oh, this man. <laughs> Don't boo me. Relax, bitch, and relax. I'll try to be back on Saturday. All right. Got to get away. They're burning everything. The fuck? Who's burning what? They're all dead. Burned Grey Ditch right to the ground. Those things, they came out of nowhere. You've got to run. Run! What the hell? That was strange. Wonder who he's referring to. I'm so excited for when I get a pom-pom crab. I've never even heard of that. What kind of crab is that? Pom-pom crab. I'm literally just imagining a crab holding pom-poms. Like that things that cheerleaders hold. Yes. That's the first thing I thought of, okay? Don't judge me, okay? There we go, much brighter. It was so damn dark. Couldn't see jack shit. <sighs> Alright, let's head over this way. There's a foot locker that I want to loot. Boy dog meat. I'll post a video in the Discord. Alright, sounds good. Scavenger's dog. Oh. Okay, so there's somebody here. Got anything for sale? Take a look. Welcome to Godforsaken Hellhole. <laughs> Not much to look at, but it's all mine. <laughs> oh damn, son. You got a lot of shit. Man, dude, she's packed to the gills. Holy fuck. Permanent sneak plus one. Okay, I'm gonna sell some stuff to you.
Thanks. Whatever. 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 Oh no. My lock picking isn't high enough to loot that. Man, there's probably something really good in there. We have anemones as pom poms. I'm sorry, I still don't know what that means. But yeah, yeah. Post a video, I'll take a look at that later. So my chances of stealing some of this stuff. Storm chaser hat. Let's see, like, what's the most valuable thing that she has that I could take? These magazines are okay. But they are only temporary. Ooh, incendiary. Oh no. <laughs> I was immediately cut. Alright, sounds good, Faye. I'll try to check that out later. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. You don't see me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Survival rifle. <laughs> God damn it, Hellcat, you ruined it, dude. <laughs> You're blowing my cover. Damn it. Shit. Might just I might just take her out, chat. I may just I may just blast her head off <laughs> so I can take everything. Any last words? Yesterday <laughs> you said tomorrow. So just okay. do it. All right. Make your dreams come true. Okay. Just do it. Oh. I'm sorry, dog. I'm sorry. Ooh. Give me that shit. Oh, man. Oh, I still can't access this footlocker, though, dude. Sag. Wish there was like a key or something. Thanks for the goodies. Hold on. There's stuff on top of this bus, it looks like. Or maybe those are just empty bottles. Yeah, I think those are just, yeah, empty Nuka Cola bottles. Old Grove, okay. Alright, it's past midnight. I gotta I gotta sign off your chat. Okay.
I'm gonna fast travel home. And then next stream, uh, we can head to the Super Duper Mart or do the radiation part or the Wasteland Survival Guide. And then, and then, yeah, we'll blow up Megaton. Oh, sorry, dog meat. Didn't mean to. Let's go. Let's go home, dog meat. Let's go home. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> It's the same K cry, Ecto cry. E my B, my B. I know you're only here for for a little bit tomorrow. Yeah. I got to sleep. Okay. Alright. That is gonna do it for tonight's stream of Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands. Didn't make too much progress story-wise, but you know, that happens any any game that I play, but man, we've covered some good grounds today. We did some good exploration around the waste. We got we got dog meat. We cleared the minefields, got like 45 landmines. We went to the power station, cleared that out, went to the old grove, got some free loot there too. So overall, still a still a good run, still a good run. So yeah, we'll do uh, we'll complete this section of the Wasteland Survival Guide and then get the next part, next stream. And yeah, that'll be a good time.